power no be powder. I carry power. More than you were, America carry dollars. Now hear me clear. My name is Apostle John Stephen, the ego prophet of the nations. Wherever you are watching this prophecy, share it to reach to Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Johnson Suleiman, shameless to you. Justin Suleiman, you are shameless to Christ's kingdom. Today, I hear what Justin Suleiman is saying and embarrassing Igbos. When my PA showed me today, when I saw it, I was like, what kind of human being is called Justin Suleiman? But before we go further, I would like you to listen and hear what Suleiman said. Just pay attention. Pay attention. Those Igbos. Shameless Igbos. Am I in support of Nigeria dividing? No. Am I in support of Nigeria separating? No. Do I believe we should be together? Yes. But even if you don't agree with the man who is your brother, should you say it publicly? Are you hearing that now? Now pay attention. Did you hear what Justin Suleiman said? Justin Suleiman called the ego shameless. What a disgrace! I am Elijah of this new generation. The reason why they born me is for signs and wonders. I am born for a purpose, and that will fulfill the purpose. Johnson Suleiman, shame to you. Is that a name? How can you be that? Listen, I want to tell Suleiman something. How can you call Igbo shameless? Are you better than Igbo? What have you done that Igbo man have never done? Johnson Suleiman, in my, when you were in my age, what have you done? You traveled abroad, I traveled abroad. You have your ministry in my abroad, branches, I have my ministry and branches in my abroad. Suleiman, hear me. I am the ego prophet of the nations. I'm from a bony state. And I'm from Eza in a bony state, Biafra land, a bony, Nigeria. Now hear me clear. If you, I will drop my phone number so that you can reach me. Shameless Suleiman. Look at your mouth. Embarrassing ego. I didn't, I thought I didn't, I thought I didn't because. Uh, uh, because Igbo people are the one that is singing for you. Igbos are your church member. Igbos are the one welcoming you from abroad and you are insulting Igbos. What have a do people done that Igbo people have never done? Can you measure it? Your people, Suleiman, is only known for prostitution in a, in a country called uh, uh, Italy. Go to Italy, you see a do. Only what they know for a do people is for prostitution. And Suleiman, you open your mouth to embarrass Igbo. Last three weeks ago, the so-called, um, the so-called, um, what's his name? Tunde, Tunde Bakari. The so-called Tunde Bakari was embarrassing Igbo, say that Igbo people, that Igbos are under a curse. This nonsense must end. It is enough. Suleiman, you did not embarrass one particular person in Igbo land. You all embarrass all the Igbos. Do you know who you're embarrassing? Suleiman, you are embarrassing like people like Reverend Dr. Imokbai. Suleiman, you are insulting people like um, Reverend Fadi Jikembaka. Suleiman, you are insulting people like Apostle John Stephen, the ego prophet. Suleiman, you are insulting people like um, uh, re, re, um, Pastor Chris Ukafo. Suleiman, you are insulting people like uh, Lazarus Umoka. Suleiman, you are insulting people like Odumeje. Suleiman, you are insulting people like Obi Kubana, Suleiman, you are insulting people like innocent. Oh my God, look at Inno Nigeria. Inno Nigeria that have, that have a company that produce a car. Look at the calibers in Igbo land that you are insulting. You are insulting people like Energy, from uh, Master Energy. Look at people you are insulting, you say that they are useless. Justin Suleiman. Look at people like Dan Gote. Justin Suleiman, who are you? You are a boy, a boy like you, Justin Suleiman. Look at you, you are too small. Justin Suleiman, you are too small to embarrass Igbos. Look at Justin Suleiman insulting people like Devil Man. Engineer Devil Man, you see it? Look at what the way they're embarrassing Igbos. Look at the way they're doing those politicians. People like Okorocha. Where are you? Look at the way they're embarrassing Okrocha. We have people like Okrocha, Johnson Suleiman, insulting Igbos. Calling them, calling you useless. Calling you shameless. Look at you, Johnson Suleiman. Calling people that all these calibers of free Igbos people. Igbo Jibiri, Nigeria Jibiri. Look 
Look at people like e money, e money. Where are you? Look at Joseph Suleiman embarrassing people like you. Look at it. P to B. Look at Joseph Suleiman embarrassing people like you, saying useless egos, shameless egos. Look at Johnson Suleiman, that small boy, that boy that don't have a respect. Each time he will embarrass anybody and he will come out and beg. If you ask him, he will say he has hot temper. Johnson Suleiman has hot temper. Johnson Suleiman, you don't have hot temper more than me, but I control my temper. I control my temper because I am born as a prophet. That is why God raised a man like me for a purpose from Igbo land. It is enough. You can't embarrass Igbos. Look at people like Aton Ukpoha. People like Peter B. He is Boji Biri. Alagole Garole. Umi Bochineke Gozi Lagozi. Look at people like Costaris. Costaris, you see it? Oleka Yagoe Garole. People like Flavor. Now, this small boy in those states, because he carry Igbo people and make them his church member. That is why he's embarrassing Igbos. Let, let me tell you something. This nonsense must end. Suleiman, you are too small to embarrass Igbos. Shameless Johnson Suleiman. Is a Suleiman a name? Is that a name? If Suleiman embarrass one particular person, I will not talk. I have never done like this, like, like this before. Neither come out to embarrass any man of God. No, because I am a man of God and I am a prophet. But for Suleiman to embarrass all the Igbos and insult all the Igbos, Suleiman, you are too small to open that your dirty mouth. A, a shameless Johnson Suleiman like you. Look at the do. He said, Do a name. You did not even embarrass one state. You said Igbos. I will tell you the meaning of Igbos today. Igbo means. Bochia Sogowa. Igbo means Bochia Baroness. Igbo means Bochia Poverty. Igbo means Bochia Headache. Igbo means Bochia Rising and Falling. Igbo means Bochia Economy Going Down. That is the meaning of Igbo. Uh, Do you know the meaning of Igbo today? By you opening your mouth to embarrass Igbo. Who are you, Suleiman? You're too small. How can a person say that his name is Suleiman? I'm, I'm asking again. Is Suleiman a name? That's not a name. Do you know why this is touching my heart? My God. Why it's touching my heart is because if you see what is happening now, they're preparing a nation in Nigeria. All the Igbo people, political people, they're all going to north to meet all the Calibas in the north, all the elders in the north. All the Igbos are meeting all the elders in Yoruba land. And yet, and yet, none of Yorubas are coming to Igbo land to meet the elders in Igbo land. Or does it mean Igbos don't have elders? It touched my heart. That is the reason why I make up my mind to pray. I denied myself pleasure because of Igbo people. That is why I pray for the mercy of God in the land of Igbo. Listen, I'm not crying because of that. No, I, 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 it pain me from my heart. I say, God, look at the way they're blessing your children. Igbos are Christ-like. Igbos are Christ-like. Now, the so-called Yorubas are now going to meet elders in the north. People from Niger Delta meeting elders in the those states. No, in no place in Igbo land are coming to meet elders. Because they take Igbos like they have nothing to say in Nigeria. That is why they, they, that is why that small boy called Johnson Suleiman is embarrassing all the importers, all the men of God, all the Christians, all the Calibas in Igbo land. Igbos is the most blessed, beautiful, anointed people from God. If you Suleiman traveled abroad, it is Igbos who welcome him. If Suleiman go to any place, it is Igbos people who come to that program. But look at what Suleiman is saying now. Johnson Suleiman, 
embarrassing people like P2B, embarrassing people like Innocent, embarrassing people like Governor Dave Omar, embarrassing people like Nani Kano, embarrassing people like Reverend Padeji Kembaka, embarrassing people like Odumeje, embarrassing people like Ego Prophet, embarrassing people like uh, Omoka, embarrassing people like Okabi Doha, embarrassing people like different calibers of Igbos. Oh, yeah. Capital oil. Capital oil. Because Charis. Because Charis. Look at Justice Lehman embarrassing you. Saying that Igbos are useless. Saying that Igbos are shameless. Capital oil. If I know bar, the, the, a young man that God bless, like if I know bar, Suleiman is embarrassing you. Look at the way Suleiman is embarrassing all the Igbos. Oscar Dozia. Igbo Jibri. Or la football can you know and do call injury taha? Yana cho Nguduka Nguduka um Eh Nguduka and did you have cake baga can be bonano? Then Suleiman is embarrassing all of them. It is enough Suleiman that your mouth I know very soon you will come out and begin to beg shameless Johnson Suleiman You hear it with Megi Suleiman said that Igbo people that is not in support of Nigeria to defy, that Nigeria is not fighting. Now, let me ask Suleiman. All these Igbos that are killing, so it's not touching your heart. Have you could see what the Bible said? Call communication between light and darkness. I have been saying this too long. If country like Kotonou, Benin Republic is a country ruling itself, can't Igbo rule itself? If Igbos is not capable, allow us to go. Look at the way they're embarrassing Igbos. Now we reach the turn of Igbo for presidential election. Now they are trying to fight to remove it from Igbo land. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? You are rushing to build us in Abuja. You are rushing to build us in Lagos. You see what Suleiman is telling Paul? All the church members of Suleiman are all Igbos. How many? How many people is it though? People like Frank Edward. Edward. Suleiman is embarrassing you. Did you see it? I said it that all these pastors, bishops, all of them that have private jets, they are all scammers, they are all deceiving people. They are collecting money from federal government and covering up, telling you to pray for Nigeria. Have you seen it? Suleiman, during the time of COVID 19, that was 220, they ask you, Did you see COVID 19? What did you answer? You say that God did not show you. The Bible said in the, in the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 7, God cannot do anything without revealing it to his servant. Suleiman, if you're a prophet, why did God not show you that COVID-19 is coming? Go to my page. My Facebook page name is called Apostle John Stephen the Ego Prophet. Or go to my YouTube channel. My name on YouTube channel is called Apostle John Stephen the Ego Prophet. When I give a prophecy, I say that there is a sickness that is coming. That was on December 2019. But that sickness will start from February, March. I give it on prophecy. Go and watch it on my page. Now, this year, 222, Suleiman, you said, let's pray for Russia. You are the one that said it. No, Suleiman, after everything that you are doing, and you can see that you are a shameless Joyce Suleiman. Now, hear me clear. Did you see that when you are praying for Russia, God did not show you that there is fight in Russia. Suleiman, go and watch my prophecy on January 1st, 2022. I said I'm seeing fight in Russia. Prefer, let me have that. Let me watch this. Let me show you something. Watch this. Application to this prophecy in the name of Jesus. Number nine prophecy. Number nine prophecy. prophecy. The ego prophet I answer. Mm -hmm. He said I should take Christians all over the world to pray for the president of Russia. Mm -hmm. Pray for the president of Russia. Mm -hmm. I saw the enemy plan therefore Did you hear that? against the president. Did you hear that? This prophecy was given on the month of January 2022. This year, but Joseph Suleiman, he didn't give the prophecy. Now, you come out to talk nonsense. You come out to embarrass Igbos. Shameless Johnson Suleiman. Whenever I see you jumping up and down, deceiving people, oh, what do you think you have that people don't have? I'm a young man and I am rich. I am blessed on my young age. What? What? I 
have traveled to different countries in the world and you are there talking nonsense. When you are in my age, what have you achieved? What have you done? Who know you then? If no Igbo will talk, I am representing Igbos. I am representing Igbos. That is the reason why God raised me as a prophet from Igbo land. God raised me for purpose. You can't embarrass Igbos. It is enough. Suleiman, in fact, this is my phone number. My WhatsApp phone number. Plus 234-70-85-93-2257. Suleiman, call me on WhatsApp phone call. When you call me on WhatsApp, my PA will pick your phone number. When my PA pick your call, he will do what? He will tell you what to do. When you do what he asks you to do, you will speak with me. That is my WhatsApp number. And hear me, if you are watching me and you get this number, only on WhatsApp you can reach me. Now hear me, I don't chat on Facebook. If anybody is chatting on Facebook because they create different Facebook in the name to spawn my name, I'm not on Facebook. I don't chat on Facebook at all. So anybody you see with my picture and with my name chatting on Facebook is not me. So this is my phone number. Eh? Suleiman, today's date is 20, right? To, sorry, today's date is 19, 19 of April. 2022. Today's date is 19th of April 2022. Johnson Suleiman, shame to you. Call me on WhatsApp. I repeat, reach me, Suleiman, on my WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp phone number is plus 234-7085-932257. That's the reason why I told all the Igbos that we should stop buying anything. Allah, Bonama, you Area was a tomato, and there was a carrot, cucumber, undigo, cosiria, kiari ritori. I'm seeing sickness. I'm seeing fights again coming. I'm seeing dead. They're going to inject the anama, inject the goat, inject the prop, the, the food item so that they will kill Igbos. Hear what I'm telling you. Stop eating. In fact, a bubble of free. I was a say by your kuna libo. A bubble of free. I was a say by your ko. Let's start eating a ribo. Can you be a ribo? Can you be a ribo? Can you be a ribo? Ribo mureki. Ribo mureki. Can you have to say parani? Enough is enough. A bubble of food. Dango testament. You see my yoko. I got your dango testament. My nigo. That was why this young man that opened a odogu. It pains me because. Odogu is the name of Christ. The name called Odogu. But Jesus, when Christ does something wonderful, he toy Odogu. A young man God who goes in a libo, Jeroba Kai Kai, toy Odogu. But the name Kai Odogu. Wore Kai Jiru Odogu, Wora in Dango Testament. We love you so much. Don't go and build Kai Kai for us. Wore Kai Jiru Odogu, 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 MLND, but if die too much. Enough is enough. I remember, I am the ego prophet of the nations. Power, no be powder. I carry power more than the world. America carry dollars. One eating a can but she got a. I'm a dead man, and a dead man can never die two times. Hmm? I am clear. Don't hear me. What about watching me from? The Lord said I should tell you, if you are an Igbo man watching this video, you, will, you are not useless, you are not shameless. You will never know shame, you will never know disgrace. I am backing all the Igbos up on prayer, and I'm praying for all, all the Igbos. If you want me to pray for you, or you want me to prophesy to your life, or you want to speak with me for one-on-one, -on -one, or you want to see me, I am in a point state, Nigeria, Biafra land, and hear me clear, um, this is my WhatsApp prayer line, plus two, three, four, Seven zero eight five nine three two two five seven. God bless you. I love you all. Power, no be powder. I carry power more than the way America carry dollars. This is the ego prophet himself. You are watching. I love you all. God bless you.